as you guys can see we finally had some rain here in texas uh we've had in the last week we had about eight inches of rain so i got to thinking about this and uh you know a couple weeks ago i did a video of you guys having to water your foundation now that we had rain uh there's also some things that you need to be aware of uh, for example number one if you have gutters like we have here you have to make sure that there's no obstructions okay and obviously you want to make sure of that before the rain comes so uh, again make sure your gutters uh, are clean and uh, you know that's gonna keep your uh, your water flowing properly uh, number two when your uh, downspouts discharge you want to make sure you have positive flow away from your foundation you do not want any water puddling around your foundation because like we discussed a couple of weeks ago you want to maintain even moisture all the way around the house so if you have water that puddles right here it's going to increase the moisture level as opposed to the other side of the house and that's not a good thing so one more thing to look out for during the rain season is uh, leaks uh, i understand you shouldn't have leaks but you know just keep an eye out uh, for water standing inside the house where it shouldn't be uh, because you know murphy murphy's law uh, so again just just keep an eye out for for water leaks so one more thing to look out for is uh, dirt splashing on the side of your metal building uh, all of our barnuminiums come standard with gutters but if yours doesn't have any make sure that after the rains quit that you go back out and if there's any dirt on the siding that you hose it off because that's going to create uh, corrosion and eventually it's going to you know eat through your siding if, if you just leave it alone after every rain because you know dirt's going to stick to it and it's just going to stay there uh, it's also going to stain your siding so again be real careful about that so anyway, that's just some of the quick tips I have for you guys today. Like I said, the most important one, make sure you have positive drainage away from your home. Uh, if you don't, water's gonna puddle and then you're gonna have issues with your foundation. Just like you're gonna have problems if the ground's too dry, you're also gonna have problems if it's too wet. Again, the biggest issue is moisture not being consistent, so be aware of that. Uh, one more thing that I need you guys to help me with. These are some of the oak trees that we planted. And uh, as you can see, they're not doing too well uh, the landscaper I'm gonna put quotes because I don't think he's much of a landscaper uh, he you know he says we're just not watering them enough uh, we water them all the exact same amount not only that he told us to water them once a week we've been watering them every day and yet some are still dying so uh, you know we put some fertilizer out and you know we're just gonna hope for the best especially with this rain we have so much rain that i'm hoping some of these are still gonna make it uh, but you know if, if you guys can maybe some of you can offer me some advice on why these things are dying on me uh it's not water trust me we've been watering the crap out of them uh and uh you know maybe you guys can help me out and tell me why this is happening so anyway in the meantime, uh, we'll see you next week. We are Texas Barnuminiums.